I'm Stuart Hendry. I'm from uh, Kitchen House Stamford. Um, I'm the director, um, owner. I have just won the Bathroom Designer of the Year. To win it is amazing, but even more so to win it alongside designers that have also been been involved. So there are some really, really sort of high high level designers in there, and to come out on top is a yeah, it's a lovely feeling. It's nice to be recognised. It's a big brief. Um, so my clients, they're lo lovely, lovely people. They've just they just purchased a 17th century building in a really quaint little village was they've been all over the world had a lot of ideas in terms of a lot of the hotels that they've stayed in they wanted to create this luxurious feel but obviously in keeping with the period of the property they also wanted to make sure that it was timeless one in terms of the look but also in terms of of them as they, they as they they age of being able to access everything and use it all properly. The husband, he he was very keen on having body jets. And so we created this real sort of wow factor for him. This was this was his room. And we created the seat in with a with a rainfall water shower over, over the top, uh, body jets, hand separate handsets, remote controls by his basin and by the door so that he could turn each function on when whichever function he wanted on and it would set the temperature to what he wanted and let him know when the temperature was right it was about keeping a lots of light in the room which is why there's a lot of glass as he gets older and might not be able to have a bath somewhere that he could sit so we had to create a seat in the shower enclosure so we've created the seat with encapsulated in all the marble with the book match marble throughout so yeah it was a, a, about creating this really luxurious feel not over the top very simple very classic it was a lot of it was about about the use of materials, really. All the tanking that we had to do underneath all the flooring um, in order to make things waterproof. And um, that was a massive challenge. Um, space, wonky walls, all the usual stuff that comes with period period properties. And obviously access as well. So um, the room is up some, up some two flights of stairs and into the corner of the room. So we had to get these slabs of stone up the stairs and, and in. So that was that was quite a challenge, but one that we managed to overcome. I, I think for me, the biggest achievement is it's nothing overpowers that room. And it's, you, you can, you can, whichever way you look at the room, there is a wow in each bit, but it, it, overall it all works really well together. It's a really light and airy room considering the window is so small. It feels really, really spacious. The pop of color from the, from the basin unit is the only real color in the whole, in the, in the whole of the room but your eye doesn't automatically go to that. It's nothing over the top, should I say. It's all very subtle, um, but classy and elegant. When you've got a room and, and even a building uh, with uh, such a statement in itself, you, you almost want to over-deliver, <laughs> which is really hard, uh, to sort of rein it, rein it in, because um, a lot of the time, less is more. They were very clear on their vision in terms of what they were trying to achieve. And I think like the, the, the key to that was we were we both... In terms of the wavelength, we were both on very much the same the same wavelength. I managed to sort of encapsulate what they what they were looking for in my head. You know, I think you're dictated by the brief a lot of the time, so I wouldn't say I I have a signature style at all. I like to think I'm a I mean I can adapt. <laughs> the biggest thing is the ability to listen. Listening is that is the hardest thing to do because we have all these these products, these amazing products thrown at us, and, and it's evolving so quickly that we. We just want to get all this stuff out. We've got all these ideas flowing around in our head. It's really easy to blurt stuff out before you've actually taken everything in. So the, the ability to to listen to to the client and what they're looking for, and, and to take it all in, to be able to then go back with a with a with a plan of action, which is like I say, exactly what they're after. We're becoming braver as people, I think, in terms of what we're prepared to have in our homes. Programs that are on TV that are giving those people inspiration, and I want the wow factor, and I want this, and I want that. And colors, textures. Um, even things like I mean, plaster panelling. We see a lot now of like even fluted glass coming back into bathrooms, all that sort of stuff, which I mean, very retro, but very in. I just think it's you're only going to be limited by the designer's imagination and the client's ability to visualise it. I love to see the finished the finished article. It's all about the attention to detail, and when you see a customer that is like over the moon and completely their expectations have been blown out of the water, um, that is what inspires me to evolve effectively in terms of keep, keep, keeping in the loop with all the latest products, giving, giving the best service and the best, like I say, the best finished article that we can possibly provide.